G'day DeFi crew, welcome back to the channel. You've caught me on the go. I'm currently traveling right now. So we're gonna have to do this on the road. I've got quite a few videos I wanna knock out. Time is of the essence because the bull run is just around the corner, just after the halving, in my opinion. So we're gonna run this video today. We're gonna to do a video on how to farm scale. Now, if you're not familiar with scale, please check out my recent videos in the card link above about scale to get up to speed on how scale works. But today I'm just gonna give you a run through on how to farm scale on Equalizer on the base blockchain. So first thing you're going to need to do is you're gonna to need to bridge over your tokens over to base, over to the base chain. So if you haven't got any tokens on the base chain yet, you're going to need to use the bridge that is currently available on the Equalizer website. This is on the base chain, this one. So make sure you select the base chain version of Equalizer. Get your tokens bridged over from any of these networks that are available here on the bridge. Now I have bridged over USDT from Polygon and swapped them for Ethereum. So once you have your tokens over to the base chain, you're ready to start swapping some tokens to create liquidity to start farming scale tokens. So once you have bridged over your tokens, head over to the swap page and you'll be able to click on your Ethereum or your tokens that you've bridged over and be able to swap them for the tokens that you need. Now for liquidity, I've chosen the, the wrapped Ethereum and scale liquidity pool. It's my favorite, it gets the best APRs, well, some of the best APRs on a scale on the Equalizer. <coughs> and as you can see, I have $2,730 already, already provided for liquidity, 0.38 Ethereum, wrapped Ethereum and 8,000 scale tokens. So today I'm gonna to add $500 to that. Like I said, you need to swap your Ethereum for wrapped Ethereum if you're going to go into this pool. So Ethereum for wrapped Ethereum, and then you need to swap the other half for scale token. So. Always good to do 50-50, but make sure you leave some gas, some Ethereum for gas on the base chain because you need that gas. So I've done that. I've got my wrapped Ethereum and I've also got my scale tokens already swapped over, ready to start providing liquidity on the liquidity pools for Equalizer on the base chain. And we're going to go back into the wrapped Ethereum and scale pool. So we just need to click on manage. Now, if you want to jump onto liquidity, Click on the ones that if you have them staked. Uh, if you don't have any staked, you can just leave that off. So therefore you, go, you can go through here and pick whatever pools you want. But for today's example, we're gonna do wrapped Ethereum and scale, and I'm going to add to my liquidity pool. So just click on that manage button, and then you're going to need to go to the create tab. So I have wrapped Ethereum, just hit max. And then for scale, it says I have insufficient balance. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hit max scale and that should give me enough Ethereum to create a 50-50 liquidity for that liquidity pool. So once I've got that selected, wrapped Ethereum and scale 50-50, I can then create liquidity. Once you hit that create liquidity, it's gonna ask you to confirm that in your MetaMask. Just hit confirm and wait for that to process. That is created scale liquidity, added 0.08 ETH, wrapped ETH, and quite a bit of scale tokens. So now we click over to the stake, but what you'll find is that when that creates liquidity, it stakes it automatically once you create it. So you don't have to actually manually create, so you don't have to manually stake that liquidity. It's already been automatically staked in there. Now you can also unstake your liquidity if you wish to. You can withdraw after you've unstaked, uh, so we'll do that at another day. Today I'm going to stake because I want to farm those scale tokens before the bull run goes parabolic. So that has been created, automatically staked into the liquidity pool. Now if we go back to liquidity pools, click on staked only, you'll find I now have $3,330 worth in the liquidity pool, an extra $500. So that has worked out quite well, 9,779 scale tokens, 0.46 wrapped Ethereum. I'm now farming scale tokens every day. Now on top of the liquidity pools, you can lock your scale tokens into these NFTs. And if you lock these tokens into NFTs, if you lock your scale tokens into NFTs, you can utilize your voting power to vote for liquidity. Every epoch there is voting for liquidity pools. The more votes your pool gets, the more APR you're going to receive for your scale tokens, which is pretty impressive for this particular DEX. If you jump over to the rewards section, you'll see you'll be getting your scale rewards here from your liquidity that you've provided. 
come back every day, farm those scale tokens, put them back into either an NFT, lock them in an NFT for voting, or put them back into liquidity to farm even more scale tokens. So that is how you farm the scale tokens here on, equ on Equalizer on the base chain. I hope you enjoy that video guys, short and sweet. Let's get the next one, cheers.